move on through. If you do lose power, you can continue to watch us here online. From Arkansas's breaking news leader, Fox 16 News at 9 starts now. We begin tonight with a breaking news update. Little Rock Police looking for the person who pulled the trigger in a shooting outside a crowded apartment complex tonight. It left one man dead. It happened at Spanish John's apartment off 65th Street just before 5 o'clock this evening. Fox 16's Susan L. Corey joins us live there tonight. And Susan, our police officer still at that scene. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Stephanie, right now officers are just trying to get suspect information. Part of the reason they're still out here is because the crime scene is just so big. Part of the shooting happened behind me in this parking lot. And if you walk up here, it's spread through the hallways where officers are still working. I talk to neighbors who tell me this type of violence is simply reckless. I might hear pop pop back here. That's sad, man. Gunfire rattling neighbors at the Spanish John apartments. Somebody died, man. Somebody lost their family member. Corey Allen keeps his family close. It, it's reckless. It's reckless. After learning one of the bullets fired outside their Little Rock home, killed a man. It could have been a kid coming through or anything could have happened. While well, he tries to process what happened. Ain't no need to even fight. Ain't no need to fight. We're too grown for this. Police mark dozens of shell casings and even a gun left behind. The scene is pretty large. Uh, it looks like shots were fired back and forth between maybe multiple suspects or subjects. Without any suspect information, officers are turning to security cameras covering the property. We don't know if it shows any of the crime, uh, any of the shooting yet, but that's something that our homicide detectives will be getting with the property management. Leaving neighbors like Allen, frustrated witnesses aren't speaking up. You know, we own the no snitching. You know, person ain't this seen and ain't gonna say nothing. Refusing to stay silent when it comes to this violence. Man, you messed up, man. They gonna get you, buddy. They gonna get you. Earlier tonight, we saw officers interviewing possible witnesses. They're hoping to figure out just how many people were involved in this shooting and then, of course, ultimately track down whoever is responsible. Live in Little Rock, Susan L. Corey, back to you. Susan, thanks so much. And we do hope that you will join us for our next Victory Walk. It's next Saturday, March 30th. This time, it will be held at the Southwest Community Center on Baseline Road in Little Rock. The walk will start at 10 a.m. And after that, we'll have a family-friendly event with free food, kids' activities, and giveaways. Everyone is invited to attend. Now, weather to plan your day with meteorologist Kristen Kennedy. For much of central and eastern Arkansas, we managed to stay dry today. Temperatures did top out in the 60s and 70s, all the way up to 70 degrees. That was the high in Little Rock today. On average, we should be in the middle 60s, but I don't really think anyone's complaining. We have this very warm spring-like weather sitting with us on this Saturday. In fact, temperatures, while they were in the 70s in Little Rock, were a little bit warmer down south, 75 and 76 from Camden through El Dorado. Cooler off towards our northwest, however, from Harrison into Fayetteville, the low to middle 60s, and that has to do with rain, which is continuing to track into the natural state this evening. Over the past few hours, it was limited to far northwestern Arkansas, but it is currently approaching central Arkansas. In fact, moving into west Little Rock right now, in just a few minutes, it should be tracking into the metro area. And overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, it's just going to continue to spread eastward. So if you're not seeing rain just yet, Hold on, I'm sure there's a good chance it's going to be coming your way in the next several hours. Now, it's all thanks to a large low pressure system that's currently spinning off towards our north and west, moving from Kansas into Nebraska. This system is going to continue to bring us showers and storms, not only overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, but by the afternoon, we'll actually see a second round developing, bringing us thunderstorms that could turn strong or even severe. Now, we'll break down who has the best chance to see those severe storms and what are the threats threats as well as timing in your full forecast coming up in just a few more minutes. We try, we try to help and we try to, you know, keep them breathing. Police in Hot Springs investigating an overnight homicide. Fox 16's Price McKeon speaks to neighbors who say it is a shock this happened there. 
This afternoon, we saw kids playing on walkways where blood from the early morning scene still showed. Hot Springs police say officers responded to reports of a possible shooting at these apartments around 2.30 this morning. This is located in the 200 block of Autumn Lane. The PD says officers found a man lying in front of a unit and now are investigating his death as a murder. Neighbors told us they tried to save the stranger who was banging on doors looking for help. If he would have opened up his window and woke up, he seen dude laying right there. Like, it's horrible. I don't even want to let him come outside and play. They want to come outside and play right now, and I don't even want him out here at all. Neighbors who reportedly heard the gunshots told us they believe they did not come from directly in front of their places. They say they think the man ran to the complex's courtyard looking for help. Police have not identified the victim or released suspect information. Back to you. Price, thanks so much. Little Rock police are asking for information on a deadly hit and run. It happened earlier this week. It happened around 3 Wednesday morning at Roosevelt and Brown Street. Authorities believe it was a single vehicle that hit and killed the man. If you have any information, you're asked to call Little Rock police. An off-duty Chicago police officer was shot and killed while sitting in a parked car this morning. They say two off-duty officers had just left a nightclub and were sitting in a car with two other people. That's when two men approached them and one of them fired shots into the car. A 23-year-old officer was pronounced dead at a hospital. Another man in, in the car is in critical condition. The second officer and another woman inside that vehicle were not hurt. At this point, we're not sure of the motive. It does appear to be random. Uh, they were seated inside the vehicle. We know that they did not have any sort of uh, confrontations with anybody. They did not have any uh, any incidents that would that we believe would have provoked any sort of uh, uh, shooting or confrontation. Police say a person of interest is in custody, but the suspected shooter has not been arrested. The officer who was killed worked his shift the night before and had handled paperwork on a murder case. Police say someone drove by and shot at a de defense attorney's office who was representing a former Pittsburgh police officer who shot an unarmed teenager. This comes just hours after the former officer Michael Rosefield was acquitted for shooting Antoine Rose. It happened in June of last year. Monroeville police say the officer was empty or the office rather was empty when six to eight shots were fired into it last night. No one has been arrested, but police are still investigating. In a news update this evening, divers recover the body of a fisherman that they have been looking for in Beaver Lake since Tuesday. 30-year-old Aaron Lauer was found Friday. On Tuesday, though, he and a friend were fishing when he fell into the lake. His body will be taken to the state crime lab for an autopsy. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says these situations are never easy for anyone involved. Our hearts go out to them. We, our, our thoughts and prayers are with them. We hate it that they've lost a loved one, um, but uh, we are um, able to fortunately give them some closure in this. His family says that he was an avid outdoorsman and was a loyal friend and a man of God. His last day was spent doing one of his favorite things, that was fishing. It's a difficult and dangerous rescue operation. It's underway off the coast of Norway, a cruise ship that you see right there with 1,300 people on board, it consisted of most, mostly British and American tourists. Well, it reported engine problems earlier in a storm on Saturday. Now, rescue crews on helicopters are race, racing to lift people off that boat one by one. Tonight, Chris Pallone reports. Passengers could be seen dangling from helicopters on ropes above a cruise ship off the west coast of Norway. Officials say the crew of the Viking Sky reported engine trouble Saturday afternoon during a storm about a mile from shore. Two rescue boats had to turn back because of the choppy seas, which saw waves reaching 25 feet high. At least four helicopters could be seen plucking some of the 1,300 passengers and crew off the ship's deck, an operation made even more perilous by wind gusts exceeding 50 miles an hour. Very frightening. We uh, went up on a helicopter with a sling, the two of us together, and it was quite scary. The ship's crew was able to get one engine running and dropped anchor as the rescue operation began. 
Passengers were being flown to the Norwegian mainland, then transferred to hotels from there. Eight people suffered minor injuries. Only 100 passengers had been plucked from the ship several hours after the rescue operation began. The Viking Sky was on a 12-day trip to several Norwegian ports. It was scheduled to arrive at the British port of Tilbury on Tuesday. The stretch of sea where the cruise ship ran into trouble is known for its fierce weather and shallow water. Well, absolutely frightening. Coming up, well, it was a beautiful day here in central Arkansas. Could we expect storms to roll in on Sunday? Kristen will have the full forecast. That's next. Plus, two locations in Arkansas will soon start casino gaming. Gaming, rather. What more you can expect? That's coming up. You're watching Fox 16 News at 9 with Stephanie.